This whole drama is based on a true story, which presents the glorious past of Muslims, the power of their unity, and the history of the pious, brave, intelligent, war-loving, and fearless rulers given to the Khilafati Usmanian in such a beautiful way that it reminds Muslims of their golden past once again, which are being made to brainwash Muslims through Hollywood, which are being made to brainwash Muslims through Hollywood and Bollywood's fictional and fake movies and drama serials. And we ourselves were giving them money and watching the first time it was released in Turkey was in, in December 10th, 2014, and as soon as it was released, its popularity soared that it has been translated and published in more than 150 countries around the world, which has attracted billions of dollars of investment from the West and the Jewish lobby, which by brainwashing Muslims through fifth-generation-like media, they had to forget their history and make them fall into the abyss. They had to break their family system and weaken them. Now they are seeing their dreams getting they had to forget their history. They had to forget their history and make them fall into the abyss. They had to break their family system and weaken them now. They are seeing their dreams getting shattered after the release of this drama serial, The Proof Of. This is an article published in the New York Times in which this drama serial is described as a silent atom bomb because they are the real superheroes of Muslims instead of fake superheroes of Hollywood. And their history shows that how can Muslims easily defeat the enemies and nation by following the path of truth, honesty, and loyalty those Muslims who defended the Muslim nation with their swords from 1291 to 1924 and kept the Islamic Caliphate for 600 years to understand why this drama serial has made the people of the West sleepless and how it has put a threat on their plans for the future. You will first have to understand the history of the first person to lay the foundation of the Ottoman Empire, the rise and fall of the Ottoman Empire. I will try to make this long topic as concise and precise as possible for you. The Ottoman Empire was one of the strongest empires in the world. It had many great rulers who made it even more powerful. These rulers made the Mongols and Suleiman is sleepless and told them that wars are won not only by swords but also by thinking and planning because the Mongols had a bloody army swords and military wisdom that kept giving them victories over victories. But after conquering any country, they had no system to run this country, which was later recalled by Khilafati Osmanian while adopting Islamic laws. So it starts with the attack on the Kurdistan of Changiz Khan. When after this attack, some of the noblemen of the city under the supervision of their leader reached Anatolia, Turkey, and this leader's name was Erdogrul, yes. The same Erdogrul Ghazi on whom this whole drama serial is present. These were 100 families and a large army of 400 horse riders. The Seljuk Empire was established in Anatolia at the time, which had become very weak again. And again, due to the attacks of the superpowers of the time, Idadi the Roman army and the attacks of the children of Tatari I, E. Changiz Khan, great rulers like Sultan Alp Arslan, laid the foundation of this empire. When Erdogrul reached here, there was still a war between the Seljuk army and the Roman army Erdogrul decided to support the weak and the right wing. He joined his shoulders with the Seljuk ruler Aladdin and forced the Romans to flee. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Wait for part two. I'll make as soon as possible. Thank you, everyone.